I'm going to show you one of my favorite AI automation systems I've ever built out. And I guarantee you, if you implement this system, it will not only make your LinkedIn content a thousand times better, but you'll be saving literally hundreds of hours every year. So what this is exactly is an automated LinkedIn content system. So this will automatically upload your photo, video, or text posts, and also expand your posts based on just an idea you're starting off with. So if you're looking for help implementing AI automation systems to help grow your business, then book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. Link is in the description. Also, I created a free community group where I share a bunch of free value that isn't on my YouTube channel. Link's also down below. So right away, looking at this automation in make.com, it looks like a pretty robust automation, but it's quite simple once you actually break it down. So essentially what I'm doing is if I come into my content engine, so basically I'm starting off with an idea. So anytime I want to create a post, I'm either going to give my content engine a text idea along with a photo or video, or I can opt to not upload that photo or video. Or if I just want to, you know, let's say I'm completely out of ideas and I just want this automation to basically just run on autopilot and do everything for me, you know, just create topics and that just based on my knowledge base, then all I would have to do next is just drag this into create and then this automation would automatically run. But I want to show you uh, first what this exactly looks like. So I'm starting off with a um, air table. So basically I'm just watching the records and anytime something is dragged into the create section, that's when this automation is going to trigger. So it's either going to go into the autopilot route, it's going to go to the text to post route, photo to post, video to post, and um, the edit. So let's say I'm dragging my idea into create. So let me go ahead and back up. Let's go ahead and just give it some information. So let's go ahead and, um, you know, I'll just create a new record. So I'll go ahead and add content. So let's say I want to make a post about a call I had. So I'll say call with clients. So my text idea is going to be, I had a call with a client for my AI automation agency and want to share how much time this automation is going to save this company. So I can either upload a photo, upload a video, or um, select from a template. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, you know, do the text and template for now. So what I did here is I created um, roughly a hundred different templates that you can choose from all have a good strategy to, you know, create engaging content. So the benefits of action for industry. So I chose, um, you know, a bunch of different things from top of funnel, middle of funnel, and also gave some examples. So you can see here five tips to improve your social. So as you can see here, this is um, what the structure kind of looks like. So number of tips to improve your metric. So I want to choose one that's going to, you know, relate to my topic. So I'm going to try to find one that relates to it most. So we'll go to the second one it seems uh, pretty similar. And I think that one could work. So all I would do here is I just find that topic that I just uh, selected. So I believe that is this one. And all I'll do next is just go ahead and drag that into create. So this is what's going to actually trigger the automation to run, but um, I actually don't have the automation on right now. So what I'll just do is just run this once. But if you want this automation to, you know, always be on, you could run this at regular intervals and, you know, just run it every minute or so. So I'll go ahead and run this and see what happens. So as you can see, because I didn't upload a photo or video, it's not going down to any of these routes, but rather it's going to the text to post route. So, Let's go ahead and see what happened. So as you can see, I chose a template. So there's two different routers here or two different paths rather. So there's the template route or there's the no template route. So as you can see, all I did was add text. I didn't have a photo or video. So it's going down this path, obviously, but um, I did choose a template. So it's going down here. And all it's doing next is just searching the record and finding the template that I selected. And it's giving it to chat GPT and just expanding on my idea and also incorporating that idea into the template that I chose and giving it that output. So let's go ahead and see what it did. So it says need unlimited efficiency that maximizes productivity. So it just basically created a LinkedIn post for me, how I would want it to be structured. So I have all these line breaks and everything. Um, but as you can see here, I have some hashtags and I really don't want hashtags in my LinkedIn post. So what you can do now is you can actually if I wanted to just edit it really quick, I'll just go ahead and put it in the edit tab and I'll just type in remove the hashtags, but keep everything the, the same. So now it's in the edit tab. I'll go ahead and run this again.
And as you can see, it went down the edit route. And now it's going to update my record after it updated it, you know, running through this chat GPT module and then updating it to just put it back into the draft section. So now it's back into the drafted for review and let's go ahead and check it out and see. So as you can see, it removed the hashtags and everything. So that's exactly what I wanted. And now it's basically ready. So I just reviewed it and all I would have to do next is put it into the ready to post and it would automatically post on my LinkedIn. So once this is on here, all I would have to do next is run this, um, run this once and then basically it would run down this little route down here and um, because it doesn't have a photo or video so as you can see here this was create a user image post this is create a user video post and this is just a text post so this is the one we want so all i did here was put a filter on here and all i did was uh just change the condition of the status to ready to post so because it is now in this little category in this uh kanban it's going to uh run down this um path so now all i did here was just insert all the credentials and everything. So the content was text idea. So as you can see from my Airtable, um, all I would do is just put the content in there. So there's the text idea. And I'm not actually going to run this because I don't want this to be posted on my LinkedIn right now because I already posted for the day. But that's essentially just what it looks like. So I'll show you some more use cases of what you can do with this. So I'll go ahead and just drag this back because I'm not going to post it. But let's go ahead and add some more content. So let's say we just want to create a, you know, a new post and we don't want to do anything. So I don't want to give it a text idea. I don't want to give it um, a photo or video, but I'll just go ahead and name this. I'll name this version one test. Then what I do next is I find that and I just put it into create. And now we'll just go ahead and run this and we'll see what can happen next. So as you can see, it's going down my path with um, just the autopilot method. So what I have here is basically just a filter. So if the autopilot post is checked, which is also equivalent to true, and the status is equal to create, then it's going to run down this path. So because the only thing I did was check um, check the autopilot method, then it's going to run down this uh, little path right here. So we'll go ahead and show you what I did with ChatGPT. So I said, you are to create a LinkedIn post that is random. It still must be valuable and be about AI automation. It could be about something new or just something that people may not know about. It should be cons concise and not long-winded and include a call to action to book a call with me for help scaling their business never include hashtags so i'll click okay and i'll go ahead and check out the output but i'll just show you that um, basically i'm putting a, a module of an air table to just update the record so you know once this is finished all i wanted to do is just go into the drafted uh, tier review section so we'll go ahead and check and this is now in the drafted to review because it just ran properly so i'll go ahead and check the output so as you can see here this is going to match what is now in my system so as you can see it's right there but let's go ahead and take it another step further so let's go ahead and just edit so let's say can you make this um two paragraphs longer so now i'll just um, go ahead and put this in edit i'll go ahead and run my automation once again and it should easily make those edits for me so as you can see it's running down this little edit path it's now running the ChatGPT module to, you know, make those edits with OpenAI. And let's go ahead and check. So if everything went um, properly, it's back into the drafted to review section. So as you can see, there's two more paragraphs in here. So we'll go ahead and read a little bit about this. So it'll just say, did you know that AI automation can not only streamline your operations, but also drastically improve customer experience. So from chatbots handling routine inquiries to advanced algorithms, predicting buyers behavior, AI is revolutionizing the way businesses interact with their customers. So pretty valuable. And you can even add things like, um, you know, just remove robotic language, move the um, whatever these are called emojis, everything like that. But that's essentially what um, the whole gist of this what what it looks like. So what you just do now is go ahead. And once you're satisfied, just put it in ready to post. But we're just gonna go ahead and drag it back. And now I'm going to show off the um, photo and uh, video section. So I'll just call this video post. So I'll say I have a meeting next week with a CEO and I'm nervous, but I know um, I am capable So this is just basically showing you know some humbleness and um, you know just trying to show some modesty. 
I guess is a better word. But yeah, so basically I'm just saying I have a meeting next week with the CEO and I'm nervous, but I know I'm capable because my service and offer is so strong. So now I'm going to choose between a photo or a video and I'm just going to choose photo. So I'm just going to choose a random screenshot that I have. So I'll go to recent and I'll just go with this, I guess. So we'll go ahead and upload the file. So that just takes a second. And um, yeah, I guess we could also choose a template. So I'll go through some, some more of these, but um, let me go ahead and actually expand on the templates a little bit more. So what I did here in Airtable was basically I just created um, exactly 70 records of you know popular templates. So in the post examples, so as you can see, so a lesson I learned from Simon Sinek's start with why, and that's just um, expanding on you know this little template name right here, which is a lesson I learned from influential persons, and then it's inserting a content piece. So another one would be, personal story about venture and challenges. So this might be a good template to choose from for you know what I was about to post. So we'll go ahead and look at an example. So when I started my business, I faced numerous challenges, but perseverance and smart strategies helped me overcome them. And we'll do one more. So we'll look at two worded question, action suggestion of you know specific process so you can achieve desired outcome. So we'll look at an example. So struggling financially, automate your invoicing process so you can focus on growth. So these templates are all proven to work. So they're from LinkedIn, from people who have posted them and even things that I've posted myself and they've, you know, garnered me a lot of attention and engagement on my LinkedIn. So I guarantee you this will work for yours as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to the video post and we'll choose the template that I was just looking at. So let me go ahead and find which one that was. I believe it was like one of the first five. So personal story about venturing challenges. So it's top of funnel, so it's pretty broad. And I think you could do pretty well. So let's go ahead and um, just review that. Go ahead and just drag it into create. And now we'll just run the automation. Normally, you'll just want to keep this on a schedule so it'll run, you know, every minute. And you can even add like more, more tables or more uh, columns. So you can add a column for if you wanted to ask further questions for you, you know, to really dial in on a perfect post. So you can add a section that um, will just say questions. And basically, whenever um, something is finished the AI runs, it'll then, um, you know, generate some questions to uh, basically from you to garner a better post. But I didn't include that this time. But um, if you'd like me to make a post on something like that, then I'd be more than happy to. But let me go ahead and run this now that it's in the create section. So as you can see, because I included a photo in that um, in that little category, it's not running through this photo router and going through the template section because I included a template, of course. And now it's going to search that uh, record for the template and it's going to give it to JGBT and just combine those two. So the text that I gave it and the uh, template. So it's just going to combine them and mesh them together. So we'll go ahead and look at the output real quick. I'll just go into my uh, engine. So basically it just says personal story, overcoming challenges to meet the CEO next week. So it says, hey, LinkedIn family. I wanted to share a significant milestone in my professional journey. Next week, I have an exciting opportunity to meet with a CEO. And while I'm feeling a bit nervous, I'm also incredibly confident in what I bring to the table. Let me give you a little backstory. When I sat on this venture, I faced numerous challenges that tested my endurance. So I want to include, you know, I want to include something more personal. So I'm going to say, um, I almost, I'm just going to make up some hypothetical. When bank, include that I almost went bankrupt and also keep the post to be more concise and remove any logos slash emojis like the stars. So, and I'm also gonna have it remove hashtags. So let's go ahead and just drag this into edit real quick and we'll go ahead and run this post. And any second, this should now be into the drafted to review section. So there it is. Now we'll open this up and we should see. Yeah, so it removed the hashtags, it removed the emojis. And um, so we'll see right in the middle. So when I set out on this venture, I faced numerous challenges, including a period where I almost went bankrupt. So I just kind of included that. And you know, if you wanted to include something like a blog, or you know, you could just provide this um, with a summary of the blog that uh, you have, or maybe you want to provide this with some 
information from your company. All you do is just put that into this text idea. It's super simple and, you know, creates perfect LinkedIn posts as you know, you can see some of these outputs, like they're perfect and you know, they will garner you attention. I guarantee you that. And it's going to save you so much time. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And I think that you'll find some real value in this. If you need help implementing something like this or even other automations, or maybe you don't even know where to start and you know, you have bottlenecks within your business, feel free to book a call with me one-on-one -on -one and I'll be able to come in, you know, implement the automations that are tailored specifically for your business and help you implement them. So with that being said, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next video.